Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time, we helped out our friend the gold miner by clearing out two of the five bosses that have infected his mine. This time, we're going to be killing the other three after we track them down, because they're kind of hiding in little nooks and crannies all over the place. And along the way, we'll be grabbing presents like these. There's a calorie stick, and I don't want it. So not like this, but a better present. Hopefully we'll be getting some better items than a calorie stick. What is the what is a calorie stick anyway? Is it just like <laughs> Is it just a stick of oh man. Is it just a stick of lard or something? Uh I, I don't know. Maybe it's a stick that's low on calories. If so, why don't they just call it a stick? Because sticks are sticks. I don't know. Earthbound's weird. I have no clue what a calorie stick could be. But I don't particularly care. What I do care about are these ants. They're in my way and I want them to die. They actually look more like spiders than ants. They they really do. Even even their um their overworld sprite just looks like a, a spider. I wonder if they were called spiders in the Japanese version. Uh, let's see. Bash, Paula, Freeze, and Jeff. Shoot. Let's just take this thing out and hopefully get another level up for Paula because when she gets that, she'll be learning a new move, which is it's pretty sweet. Unfortunately, that's not the level up I wanted. Or, I mean, it, I didn't get a level up there, so... Just probably one more battle. In fact, this will probably give me my level up. Let's just hit him with all of our magics. The best magics in the world will all gather to destroy him with the magics. We'll never tap to attack. We'll always be vigilant. And apparently lose some of our health. And then, also, use our... Her life link, right here. Jeff taps and does how much damage? 21, and he has life link, so that's brought right back to him. Uh, the Magic: The Gathering references. I've been getting back into that game. It's it's fun. Paul's level is now 31. Offense went up by two. Speed went up by one. Guts went up by one. Vitality went up by one. IQ went up by one. HP went up by six. Maximum PP went up by four. Paul realized the power of PSI Freeze Gamma. But yeah, Magic, Magic Ga the Gathering is a fun game. I've, I've been building the same deck for like two... two years? Yeah, two years now. And I've, I'm this close to completing it. Then I can actually get boosters and then maybe some like video games because I've been using my money for that recently. Actually, you know what? I don't need the PSI Caramels anymore because I have the Truffles. So. Let's use a PSI Caramel on Ness, and then we'll use a PSI Caramel on Paula, because I can totally just get rid of these things. I have a truffle that lasts forever, as long as I have ketchup. So let's just use all of the caramels. Uh, use this on Ness, sure, why not? There, open the present. There's a teddy bear inside. Paula takes it. Which suits her well, because I don't- I doubt that Jeff or Ness would be interested in teddy bears. I don't know. Maybe Ness would be interested in, like, <laughs> using it as pinata, but... Whoa. No! Whoa! No noose, man. No noose, man. Let's- let's talk about this, like, civilized people. Oh. Never mind. I'll just bash your face in. Oh, you had a friend! Wonderful. I love friends. The more, the merrier. Let's bash them. Actually, let's use fire on them. And bash, also. Man, do you picture that being caught on fire and then hit in the face with a baseball bat, except they missed. Okay, let's let's just kill this thing, because it's almost dead. We can, uh, <laughs> we can tie up loose ends! Yep, yep, I went there. Ha <laughs> ha! Speaking of loose ends and puns, uh, something cool happened to me the other day. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but, uh, my strength falls between the second and fourth strongest masters. Do you want to test me? I was driving the other day on this really curvy road. Um, I have my license, by the way, now. I don't think I ever mentioned that when I got it. I mentioned when I was in driving school, but I didn't mention that. Let's use Freeze Gamma and, uh, ja uh Ness. No. <laughs> wow. Oops. That was a waste of a turn and a lot of damage for a waste of a turn. Fen. But what I was saying is, I was driving the other day on this really curvy road. I was just about to go through this really long curve, 
and something blew into my car, because I, whenever I drive, I have all of the windows open, because that's just how I roll. And something blew in my car. I thought it was a bee, and then I thought it was a leaf, so when I stopped at a stop sign, I looked at it. It was a fortune cookie note. And I was like, okay, what, what does it say? It said, one good turn deserves another. Yeah, I, I talked about some num some episodes ago, back in winters, that I'm born under the sign of the part of the pun slinger and the mark of the let's player, but that's that was never more true than that moment. I was just like, wow, that is ironic. Nessus levels now tw 33, HP went up by two. Jeff's levels now 29, speed went up by one, HP went up by one. That's three of five guardian diggers and another piece of karma which. I don't care about, like I said, so let's just use that thing up. On Paula. Now, I got PSI Freeze Gamma. This is not going to be a move that I forget to talk about. In fact, now that I think of that, there's another move that I forgot to talk about, and that was PSI Thunder Beta. I'll talk about that first. Now, they both deal the same amount of damage, but PSI Thunder Beta hits twice, so you have a higher chance of hitting enemies, and you have a higher chance of hitting them hitting multiple enemies, so it's pretty nice, and it also destroys psychic or uh, psychic shields, which I don't think I ever said before, but it does, which is really neat, especially since it has a, such low PP cost, I love to spam it. Now, PSI Freeze, Gamma. First, I want to give some backstory about how this is not the best of psychic abilities. Look at PSI Freeze Alpha. For the PP cost of 4, it does 180 points of damage. Beta is a little over twice the cost, and it does twice the damage. So, cost-effective-wise, you should use two of these instead of one of these. Although, for many enemies, it saves a lot of time just to use one beta. So, I would say they're, they scale rather well here. But this is double the PP cost, but it does not deal double the damage. If it did, then it would be 720 damage instead of 540, which I'm not a fan of. It's twice the cost, but it deals about uh, five sevenths again more the damage. Not, not the best. But against some bosses, it can insta kill them. So I guess that's the thing. It can, it will be insta killing the enemies in this area. So I guess I can't complain. Okay, let's try to avoid enemies here. Just do a little bit of dancing. Because I've fought way too many enemies this episode, I would love to go the rest of the way without fighting any more, though I know that will, that will not happen. You know what? I have infinite PP. I want to do this. I really do. Everyone, come here. Come here. And... Hmm. What shall I kill them with today? Let's use Rockin' Alpha. No, let's use Beta. And have Paula... Hmm. Paula, you use PSI Fire Alpha on the back row, and Jeff, you bash the Mad Duck. <laughs> it fell down. <laughs> uh, the the battle text of these guys is so it's so funny because some of the enemies are just not serious. They pose no threat to you. They're just kind of filler enemies that don't do anything. Rock and Beta comes out. We'll kill all the enemies on screen because Rock and Beta is just that good. Talk about tying up loose ends. Rock and Beta does that. Wow, it didn't kill them. Does that very well. Okay. Uh, bash, bash, and bash. This will this will kill the rest, and I'll probably get a lot of experience from this, though not a ton. Probably not as much as when we fought the Foppies. Oh wait, more. Okay. But I guess since we're uh, we're higher level now, it takes more experience to make us level up. So percentage-wise, it's not as good as when we got the Foppies. Okay, let's try to avoid all the enemies we can! Run! Woo! That was close. And we're almost to the other, uh, dungeon guardian. I I can never remember the names of these guys. I, I should just call them moles, because they're moles. But, I, uh, I never do. I never call them moles. Or anything, for that matter. I just mess up the names. Uh, let's use Paula. Paula, croissant on Jeff. And Paula, get that, get that, uh, picnic lunch. Now, one thing that anyone abusing the magic truffle ketchup synergy thing 
should take note of is first of all this will only work if you use that in in battle if you use it outside of battle you will use up the magic truffle and it will be gone forever but also if you if for any reason the magic truff, the truffle leaves ugh, leaves the top of your inventory space it will be consumed when you perform the thing so that's ah oh man um yes yes ah oh, that was close so, what was I saying? I kind of forgot because I was doing snakes. There we go. So you want to make sure that it never leaves the top of your inventory space. Let's avoid that. Ant. Ant and the snake. And the snake again. Despawn. <sighs> I'd rather not fight the snakes. I'm fine with the noose men because they're easy. I'm fine with the ducks. They're easy as well. But the snakes, they poison you, they make you use up healing, beta, and all of your PP. I'd rather not fight the snakes, or any of these enemies. Ah, they just keep spawning. Now they're not, there, okay. I'm satisfied. Another bomb, I should be using these bombs, I'll use it on this. There it is, it's gone, and I'm happy. No, you will not attack me, you will go away! Ah, dumb snakes. I don't want to fight them. Just go away. I will not fight you if you don't fight me. It's that simple. Oh, they're ducks. And they run away from me. Can I insta-kill this duck? Because I kind of want to insta-kill the duck. Insta-kill the duck! Yeah! Did we insta-kill both the ducks? Did we really? Yeah, we did. They're that weak. And we got 28 experience from both of them. They're just that trashy. Run away, please. Just go. Can I insta-kill three of them? That would... That would highlight something. That would be that would be neat. I did. I totally did. That's cool. All of them at once. I'll probably insta kill you too. I'm truly the third strongest master of this hole. I'll demonstrate the power of being third th th to you. Good for you. I'm glad that you're demonstrating your powers. Let me demonstrate my powers because I have all the magics. I will kill you with my magics. Magics, come out. Magics, away. Magics, insta-kill the Guardian Diggers. And I'm probably going to get a level up from that. Do I? Yes. Paul's level is now 32. Offense 1 up by 1. Defense 1 up by 2. Speed 1 up by 2. Guts 1 up by 1. Oh, baby. IQ 1 up by 3. Luck 1 up by 2. Max maximum HP 1 up by 2. That rocks. Maximum PP 1 up by 15. And we get two presents as a sweet reward, but I can't do it. Uh, what can I get rid of? You know, I'm going to drop the bomb drop, and then use this uh, this luck capsule on Ness, because he's the one that really needs to be connecting with his attack, so use it on Ness, and then I'll take whatever this is, the platinum band, and equip it to Paula. It raised her defense by 25. Wow. She's a tank now. That's awesome. All right, all right, Paula, you're now protected by your bracelet. Who said that <laughs> that those bracelets that do the placebo thing, where they're like, these are live s cancer? Not bro, these are live strong bracelets. That has no hold over me. Who said that those don't work? Can I not fight the spider? Spider, fine. Jeff's level is now 30. Maximum HP went up by 2. That was a horrible level up. Why did it even need to tell me? It didn't even have to tell me that it went up by 2. That's such a tiny change. Jeff, come on, man. Look at... Look at your stats. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to Jeff. Jeff, bro, get some level ups. Eat some food. Eat a hamburger. Something. You're so underfed. Okay, let's talk to this mouse because we can take his son along. And we need an exit mouse, because as soon as we defeat the... Oh, I have too many items. As soon as I defeat the gray... I can't remember their name. The dungeon... No. The... What are they called? Guardian Diggers. I can never remember these things' name. As soon as I defeat the Guardian Digger, I'm just going to teleport out of here. Uh, let's see. What is worth the least? What can I do away with? You know what? Uh, let's, let's, find an, let's find a battle. And then, once I find a battle, I'll use my magic truffle. 
Um... That'll do. I'll get in this battle, and then I will use my magic truffle on... Let's use it on Paula. And then Paula, you use fire beta... No, you use freeze beta on the titanic ant. And Jeff, you use the HP sucker on the titanic ant. And then, hopefully, Paula will get some PP, and all will be well. HP Sucker comes out and sucks. <laughs> it sucks the life out of the noose man. So Jeff is just using life of suction on these enemies, but he has a straw. That's horrible. That is absolutely disgusting and horrible. I'm sorry I brought that picture into your head, but <laughs> I just picture him with a dart gun shooting this enemy and just. The dart gun has, like, a tube on it. Ah, uh, this is a horrible thought. And he just starts sucking the stuff out of them. Oh, wow. I went far with that. Uh, it, the offense went up by one, HP went up by one, PP went up by two. Learn the power of shield beta, so more powerful shield. Goody. All that, all that, uh, all that heartache was just for me to be able to take, li take this guy's son pull up in a white van and ask him to come with us. We'll give you candy, don't worry. You'll get your candy. You'll get exactly what you deserve, small mouse. What is this way? There's a present this way. Secret herb, what does that do? I think I've read it before, but I forgot. Secret herb does... what? Secret herb may revive a friend who was unconscious. In addition, it also works well on poison, nausea, cold, sunstroke, falling asleep, uncontrollable crying, and feeling strange. It's effective when you have paralysis or you've been diamondized. So it's a cup of life noodles. Huh. I now have essentially four cups of life noodles, which is absolutely ridiculous. Let's give this to myself. That's that's insane. What's more insane is the spawn rate of these enemies. I just want to... You know what? I'll, I'll do this. Fine. There. Now, let's go see the final Guardian Digger. I got the name right this time. But first, uh, Ness is not looking too good, so let's life him up. And then... Paula... Well, the rest of the party's fine. Let's just fight the Guardian Digger. Ha ha ha. You fought the strongest master of this hole, the second strongest master of this hole, the fourth strongest master of this hole, and the weakest master of this hole. I am truly the third strongest master of this hole. Now you see the true advantage of being third. Guardian Digger attacked. Defend, PSI, freeze gamma. Good night, sweet prince. He didn't even know what hit him. He didn't even get a chance to to say hi. I'm my name's Fred. I like video games. And then we're just we throw him in a freezer, and he he dies. That's the most pitiful ending to anyone. Uh, what can I throw away? I uh, nothing. I can't throw anything away. Let's throw the silver bracelet away. I think. Yeah. Let's let's drop this, and then get. The Guts Capsule, and I will use that on Ness. There. And now, let's, let's, let's get out of this place. Since I'm tired of being in caves, I would just want to leave this place and go back to the miner and tell him that everything's fine. We cleared out his infesta infestation problem, and we got our picture taken in the process. Before I leave this area, though, I would like to go to that guy and sell off some of my stuff. I will do that right now, cut it out, and off-screen I'll sleep, save, then I'll show you what I did with my inventory. So, I will be right back after these messages from my sponsors. But before I do, I would like to talk to this guy. You've gotten rid of the monster? Good job. Okay, from here on, uh, from here on, just let me dig. You'll see, I'll find the buried gold. Before I start digging, I'm going to set a careful plan of action. Now, cut away! After doing all of that stuff that I said I would do off screen, I'm taking the bus to Foreside since we are done in Dusty Dunes Desert for now. 
but I'm showing this because something will happen on our way there. Spoilers, it's something good, and something required. Somehow, that miner set land speed records on his construction equipment, and he chased us down to tell us something. Ness, greetings. I'm George, Gerardo Montague's brother. Gerardo, Gerardo is in his mind. Gerardo? Gerardo? I think it's Gerardo. But he hasn't ha found any buried treasure yet. We did, fit, however, find a diamond instead. Gerardo told me to give it to Ness. It's Gerardo. It's, I'm pretty sure it's Gerardo. Here it is. Please take it. Ness got the diamond for his troubles. Well, I got, I've got to go. I'm busy working at the other location, or other mine. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah, you have fun with that. I'll probably never see you again. But I have a diamond, so clearing out that mine was very worth my while because it will allow me to assist the Runway 5 once again. And with how much I've been assisting them, they owe me a lot of money. With this, it's going to be about about up to one million and ten thousand dollars so they owe me big time and they'll probably repay it one day or another somehow they probably won't repay it with money because they're dirt poor but they'll probably repay it with some favor or another okay where's Topel theater there it is now that we have the diamond we can just go straight in we have to buy a ticket though uh yeah i'll do that and talk to you with my ticket, and this gives me an opportunity to show you what I did with my inventory. Besides having to rearrange this, actually I don't need to do that right now. I sold some stuff, I sold the coin of defense, and some of the other items I had in my inventory, so it's just, it's looking much better now, and Jeff probably has the biggest improvement. I sold both of his dis defense sprays since I'm probably not going to use them, and now he can fit a couple things in this inventory. I need to use up my bottle rockets, I probably should have been doing that in the mine itself, but I'll get around to it. So, let's use the... wait, can we use the diamond? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> what, is, what does that even mean? I don't know. Where's Where's my ticket? Show ticket. Use. Thanks a lot. Please hurry. The show will be starting at any moment. Well, I'm not here to see the show, I'm here to see the manager. Or the, the theater owner. Because, if we go and talk to her... So, you're a Runaway 5 fan, huh? What? Excuse me? No, no. This band owes me a million bucks. If they break their contract, they'll be in deep doo-doo with the police. The police would probably say, Hey, you guys, or something like that. And you've said this before. Yeah, you say I'd have to find buried gold, but what you really mean, I would have to find a buried diamond. What, what, what? I can't tell what it is from this distance. Bring it closer. Yay! That, 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 that diamond! You're going to pay with that diamond? Oh, okay. Th that, that's fine. I'll rip up this contract. RIP. Don't tell anyone about the diamond. Now the Runaway 5 are free. You should thank me. That diamond is worth maybe, maybe $50. So I gave you a bargain. Thump, 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 thump. I've made lots of money. Sorry about- oh wait, that's not his voice. Sorry about being such troublemakers. We won't be so gullible anymore. Well, our fans are waiting, baby. Let's just do this one last show and then get out of here. Alright, thanks again. Money, that's what I want, money, that's what I, what is hot, money, that's what I want, money, it's what we ain't got, except freedom, 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 is what we really sought. Money, that's what I want, money, that's what is hot, money, that's what I want. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough, Frankie. <laughs> Frankie's always causing trouble. In fact, actually, no, I think I've made a character named Frankie already, he was like that policeman or whatever, so I'll call him Bobby. Welcome to the Runaway 5 perform- the final Runaway 5 for performance at the Topella Theater! It's going to be a great show! We're so good it makes me... think that those kids by the exit will wet their pants! 
Those kids are hip, baby. I hope you cherished that because that was the final Runaway 5 performance we'll ever see. And these people have nothing to say about it. So sad. Their talent's wasted on these people. At least I appreciate them. But I didn't wet my pants. I... <laughs> I stayed very much dry, even though they were awesome. Oh, I can't see the Runaway 5 here anymore? I should dump this sorry excuse of a man and become a Runaway 5 groupie. I heard that I heard Venus made an appearance at the Runway 5 show. I missed her because I went to the bathroom. I'll hate bathrooms for the rest of my life. <laughs> That's a good line. That's a really good line. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. That's all he ever says. Don't you have anything else that's good to say? No. All you have to do is talk about Ohio. Keep your negativity to yourself, Mr. Man. Can't even hear me anymore. Stupid Mr. Man. Now... <laughs> like with all of Foreside, it's vague as to the direction of our travel, the destination from which we destinate. <laughs> well, let me just clarify, that is the department store. Next time, we will be going to see the department store's grand reopening. They closed for mysterious reasons, and we even heard some strange noises from inside of it, but... We'll be seeing what that's all about, what the grand reopening of the department store is like. So, I'll be going inside there and buying a ton of stuff. Oh, by the way, when I saved off screen, uh, Ness's dad donated, uh, not donated, deposited $12,000 into my bank account. So total, I have $24,000 right now, not counting the $2,000 I have in my pocket right now. So $26,000. And I will be spending a lot of it in the department store next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next time we'll be going into the department store. And I release new episodes of, of Earthbound Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And if you liked this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment. And tell, you, tell me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Earthbound. This is Ness, Paula, Jeff and Paladin, signing off. Peace!